In this video, we're going to be using Southern Witchcraft's Labyrinth and the Mercur Futura Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, let's get into it. We have a great one for you today. We are using Southern Witchcrafts. This is Labyrinth. And this smells great, I have to say. I looked at the notes, which I'll put for you on the screen right there, and I was like, I don't know. Whetstone, musk, uh, I don't know. It doesn't smell like whetstone to my nose. It smells like a nice cologne. It's a unique scent. Scent strength is right at medium. I got this from the Razor Company. It was $17 for four ounces or on our cost chart for $25 an ounce, which is a fair price. This is a very good quality soap. Southern Witchcrafts is definitely one of the best vegan soaps on the market and probably one of the best soaps period quality wise. It lathers easily. It's easy to work with. I love the label too. I love that Minotaur or whatever that is on there. I just kind of dig that. This one really caught my eye and it smells really, really nice. Let's give it a whiff one. Oh yeah, I don't know. It just smells like a nice cologne to my nose. This is again a vegan soap. I'll put the ingredients for you right there if I didn't do it already. Sometimes I forget folks. I'm forgetful. I'm getting old. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, let me show you a lather shot right there. Excellent stuff. Easy to work with. I really enjoy using Southern Witchcrafts and we look forward to using it today. The razor for today is the Merker Futur or Future or whatever you want to call it. This was a gift that was sent to me, uh, I don't know, a year or so ago from Jimmy from NYC Wet Shaving. Thank you, Jimmy. And this is what I would call a classic razor. It's been around a long time. You can find it on Amazon. The price is around $80 right now. It's $83 on Amazon. You may want to search around for the Brit for the best price, excuse me. This one also has a model name, MK701001. It is a nice, efficient razor, and when you open this baby up, because it's adjustable, it is it is capable of some good uh, aggression. It is two-piece, I'll go ahead and show you. When you take it apart, it looks like this, and what I typically do is, you can see the blade today is Gillette Nasset. I'll just set my blade on top, like so, and then just push the cap down, straight down onto it, and most of the time it is centered properly with no problem whatsoever. Very nice razor. You can get it in the chrome like this. I think they make a gold color and also sort of a matte uh, grayish looking color. And we're going to start out today on setting eh, about two and a half. Why not? Let's start there and let's get going because we have been yapping long enough. And who wants that? <laughs> All right. Starting off by misting the face and this is just plain water. No special elixir or anything like that. And I think it just distributes the water very well. On your face, the brush for today is the one of the AP Shape Co. Handcrafted Series brushes with a cashmere knot. And we're going to mix up our lather here just a little bit because it's been sitting for a while. But I'm going to tell you, this is some good quality stuff. Southern Witchcraft is no joke in quality. And we will get to lathering here. And I really like the scent of this one. I didn't, honestly, when I read the notes, I was like, I don't know. But I was also curious about it at the same time. And I was curious enough to buy it, and I'm happy I did. And in fact, I need to follow up and, and go back and buy the splash because this is a this is a nice scent. So don't be afraid that this one's going to smell like dirt or something like that. It doesn't. It's a it's a quite a nice scent. And sometimes you never know with Southern Witchcrafts because they have a lot of unique scents and they sort of specialize in unique scents. And so you never know what you're going to get. But this one for me is fantastic. I love it, and so I'm, I'm very pleased. With it, I think when I looked, it was sold out at the Razor Company and maybe even on Southern Witchcraft's website as well. I don't know that this one was special edition, or at least I hope not, because uh, I like the scent and hopefully they'll make more so people can buy it. But I do have links for it um, below if you want to look at what the notes are and things like that, because <laughs> it's very interesting uh, indeed. All right, let's get going today with our. Merker Futur. And by the way, if you're from Germany, tell me what's the appropriate way to pronounce that. Can you hear that feedback? I don't know if you can hear that. I'm always talking, so it's rare that you can actually hear the feedback, but this one definitely offers some feedback. It's kind of got a large head. That's always been the knock on the Merker Futur. 
Now this one is not as big as they made another one that was similar to this called the Vision, I believe, and it had a massive, it was kind of a very clunky razor. Uh, but this one is very nice and it's nice and efficient. That's one of the sort of hallmarks, I think, of this razor. Uh, it does a great job. It's a really, really nice, I think. Very nice indeed. And this Nasset blade in here is on its second use, um, I do believe. The, again, the knock on this razor is just, it's got quite a large head on it. So if you, some people have trouble maybe shaving under their nose with it, and that is understandable. Of course, I don't have that issue. <laughs> but uh, some people don't like it because it can feel a little cumbersome. Um, and I completely understand that if that, if you're one of those people. But in terms of the shave it delivers, I think it delivers a very, very good shave. And I love using these, what I call, sort of classic razors now, because this one's been around for a good while. It's been around long enough, and it's been in the hands of many, many people. And so this one, I would consider to be a, a classic, sort of like the Merker Progress. And as you can see there, the Southern Witchcraft's uh, Labyrinth is uh, rinsing cleanly from the razor. And that is always good when it rinses cleanly. It means for the most part, you've, you know, you've got some decent hydration uh, in your mix. And that is certainly something we want. And I'm going to tell you right now, there is some creamy goodness in there. Might not come across on the camera, but trust me. It is good and it is easy to work with and it has a great scent. The slickness is on point. All the things that you're looking for in a shaving soap, Southern Witchcrafts has, in my opinion. And I have to say, um, I was one of those people that for a lot of years was slow to come around. Like I used vegan soaps, but I didn't ever think they were on par for, for the longest time. Um, and in the last couple of years, that has really changed because vegan offerings now are on par with tallow. Some vegan offerings are better than some of the tallow. But early on, what used to happen with is when you got some vegan soaps, they would tend to be a little fluffy when you lathered them up and it wasn't very satisfying. And then the tallow based soaps tended at the time to have a little more butters in them and oils and they give you a more, at the time, luxurious lather. That has changed because you can use a product like this one, you can use a and &E VR1, you can use PAA. All of those are terrific vegan offerings and there's of course many others those are just three that come to mind um, and and they will deliver beautiful lathers for you so don't be afraid if you're a hardcore traditionalist and you haven't tried vegan offerings for a while i encourage you to try some of these new ones try southern witchcraft try a and &E vr1 try paa uh both the classic ck and ck6 and, and see what you think um your mind might be changed because mine certainly has over the last couple of years. Very nice. Again, the future or future, however you say that, definitely a nice efficient razor. I meant to turn it up a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just stick right here. Oh no, maybe let's, let's adjust it. We'll go ahead and adjust it a little bit before the cross pass here. Let's just find where our notch is and let's uh, turn it up a little bit. I'm going to go to like four this time. We'll go to four and just get a little more efficiency. We'll re-lather for a quick cross pass on this side and see how that feels. It's feeling good so far. I hope you all, by the way, are having a great day and a great new year so far. It is back to work. Now back to the grindstone. And so everything is back to normal. The holiday season is over. It's depressing, isn't it? <laughs> At least it is for me. I love Thanksgiving through New Year, um, through Christmas especially. And now we're waiting for the next one, right? And hopefully we'll be lucky enough to have a next one. You know, that's always something to keep in mind. So I'm grateful for today. And I'm happy that all of you could be with me today as well. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right. That is feeling nice. Again, the Merker Futur. I hear some people say it that way. Uh, it's nice and efficient. Um, it's a little hefty. Because, you know, it's kind of a big razor. So just be aware of that if you choose to get one. And the prices on this on Amazon, it, they fluctuate. They used to be around 70 some dollars. Now they're a little higher at 80 And so I don't know what to attribute that price flux 
fluctuation too, but I've noticed it was they were a little bit higher. But I've seen it up and down throughout the year, so that's something to keep in mind. Very nice. Very nice shade. The soap here, very impressive in my opinion. I think it's a great quality soap. And this one, in my opinion, is not one to be feared in terms of scent. Like, I, I was skeptical when I read the, <laughs> the notes, but um, it turned out that this is a very nice scent. And I, f I have found that with Southern Witchcrafts, you'll read some of the notes and you'll be like, oh, no, 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 no. And then you get it and you're like, oh, that's not what I expected. So when they blend some of these scenting oils, uh, oftentimes the way they do it, it will manifest in um, a different scent from what you have in your mind based on the notes. And that's a great thing because, you know, I don't like dirty scents. I don't like dank scents, mildew, mildewy scents. And I saw the wet stone on this one. I'm like, eh, I don't know. But fortunately, it just smells like a, what I would call sort of a nice cologne. That's what I get from it. It's, it's really, it's really nice. And so I will definitely pick up this splash because I think this is a, quite a good scent. And so let's get this cross pass here underway and out of the way and let me know folks uh, below what are you guys using today guys and gals we don't want to forget the ladies what did you folks use today and also i remind you don't forget i'll put a pop a uh, slide up there in the corner uh or i'll pop a slide up on the screen shave talk uh facebook group if you're interested in talking about shaving and in a sort of safe and friendly environment We've been having a lot of great discussions there, so I invite you on over. Uh, as long as you keep it clean and uh, keep it pristine, and you're operating in good faith and not doing mean-spirited things, you are welcome, because that's, that's what we want our community to be. And we don't want the other elements that are not savory. All right, that was an excellent, excellent shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to get rid of the soap and then we applied our PAA alum. There was no stinging there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we tiled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches. And this is Thayer's Witch Hazel. Uh, cucumber and aloe, which is very good stuff. I had an excellent shave today with Southern Witchcraft's Labyrinth. This is a really, really nice soap. Uh, don't be afraid of the scent on this one. It smells like a very nice cologne. I really enjoyed it. I think it's excellent. No buyer's remorse on this one. I liked it a lot. We used the Merker Futur razor, which is a gift from Jimmy from NYC Wet Shaving. I'll tell you right now, with this razor, if you are averse to bigger razors with bigger heads, stay away from this. However, if you don't mind a little heft and sort of a chunky head, this is a good classic razor in my opinion. Very, very nice indeed. And it delivered a really nice shave today or helped me deliver a nice shave today. Our brush was AP Shave Co. And it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. Of course, we used our tremendous HCNC bowl and we're going to finish it out with, and I forgot to bring it in here. <laughs> I meant to bring my Southern Witchcraft's grapefruit to Splash, but I forgot to bring it. So I'll get it in the other room and, and do it off cam. I want to thank you all for joining me. I really appreciate it. Also, I want to remind you, be on the lookout for an interview from Pete, with Pete, I should say, from HCNC this week. I've done the first edition of the Shave Talk um, series of videos and that will be coming this week. So Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. As always, remember, it's your shave. Do it your way. God bless.